presents the K1 Victorian Final. Well, this is it, folks. The one we've all been waiting for. The final qualifying bout for the K1 Oceania. And it's come down to this. Phil Fagan against Chris Chrysopolides. This one's scheduled for three by three rounds under K1 rules. Will it be the technical excellence of execution? Phil Fagan out of the red corner. Or will it be the wild, the powerful Chris Chrysopolides out of the blue corner? Seconds down, round one. Bryce Purwistle gets us underway in the first round of action. Fagan defeated Robinson to get here. Chris Sopolides took care of business against Ozcan to be here. Defensive front kicks there from Phil Fagan. Big leg kick from Chris Chrysopolides. Well, big bombing hands from Chris Chrysopolides is what Fagan's going to have to look out for. Chris Chrysopolides in turn is going to have to look out for those lightning fast kicks that Fagan has. He'll work the inside thigh, the front kick, and he'll try and roll his hand over the top, Fagan. Hammer, these two men fought last year on a Kelly C promotion, one of the all-time great heavyweight wars that went the distance, and what a slugfest it was. A little bit south of the border there from Phil Fagan. Well, that was the inside thigh kick I was talking about. A little high, accidents do happen, but uh, Chris Apolidis taking that one just, uh, as you would say, Michael south of the border. Well, he'll be auditioning for the Vienna Boys Choir after that one. Let's have a look at it again, Hammer. Fagan will switch up. I think uh, the bruising from my inside thigh has only recovered from the sparring session I had with Fagan. So he really worked that inside thigh kick well. But uh, that one just a little high. And when a fighters are moving and your adrenaline's pumping and all the rest of it, accidents do happen. Well, Chrysopolides looks like he's A-OK -okay to continue. Referee Bryce Purvis will get us out of the way again. The first round of the final of the K-1 Victoria four-way threat. Fagan just sticking in there with a clean left hand. And another from the destroyer, Phil Fagan. Good gut munching front kick there from Fagan and another. Fagan turning it on here in the first round. The excellence of execution. Overhand right, missed the target, the left hook hit it from Phil Fagan. Fagan pulling out all the stops. He's looking to good see a hammer in the first round. Well, certainly picking his shots now. Phil, he looked a little flat in his first uh, rounds with uh, Robinson, but he could be coming good now. Fagan must keep his jaws covered. He's dropping his hands mighty low when he charges in on Chrysopolides. He doesn't want to be too uh, over, overly keen to get in there with uh, Chrysopolides. But uh, Fagan is certainly fit. Chrysopolides must stay calm and collected. We often see him go into frustration mode when he gets pressured by an well, opponent. He gets a little wild and, uh, with his technique when he gets under the pump a bit, uh, Chrysopolides. But uh, Fagan is a clean worker. The techniques will be coming out fairly snappy. And uh, Chrysopolides wants to work in with that. Blood flowing from the nose of Chris Chrysopolides. Still Fagan charges forward here again. Just probing through the defensive with a straight left hand. Nice front kick there to the guts from Phil Fagan, then rips up the right hand to the head. Chrysopolides goes downstairs with an outside leg kick. Nice knee to the head there from Phil Fagan, all's most connected. Big sweeping leg kick from Chrysopolides. Well, Fagan all over him here in the first round. This is where the K1 fighters uh, need to get their knees happening as uh, Chrysopolides caught Oscan with that knee in their bout. You never underestimate the power of a knee strike, I'll tell you that much. It knocks the wind right out of your lungs and leaves you gasping. No oxygen in the body, no movement coming from the arms and leg. That's the uh, the sum about it all. Comments from the former Australian cruiserweight Muay Thai champion, the Hammer, Mark Castanini. Ringside with myself, Michael Chabello. It's the K1 Oceania Victoria from Festival Hall. Referee Bryce Pertwistle also separates both men. Phil Fagan in the blue trunks, Chris Opelides in the black trunks. It's been a good, tight, technical round so far for Phil Fagan, maintaining a very high work rate. Well, hello to all the uh, viewers on Fox Sports. They're on the sunny Gold Coast, Queensland. Always big supporters of the fights here on Fox Sports. Gary and Max Car Carnival. Good followers as Chrysopolides gets caught by Fagan. Chrysopolides just, just caught there by his momentarily. big right hand. Phil Fagan all over him again. Chrysopolides trying for the big knee to the head off the left knee. There's the end of the first round. I like it for Phil Fagan, Hammer. Well, Fagan, is. this is where the fitness comes into it now. Michael is really fit. His recovery time will be a lot better than Chrysopolides, although Chris is looking a lot fitter than I've ever seen him. I must admit, Johnny Skeeter has done a fine job to prepare a Chris Chrysopolides for this one. Recently returned from overseas, but Fagan is the fit man, that's for sure. We see Fagan weaving under well. Body shot, left hook. Just uh, caught uh, Chrysopolides a little there. Fagan momentarily trying to go for that inside thigh again. Yeah. 
We are rolling into the second round of action. The final of the K1 Victoria. Phil Fagan and Chris Chrysopolides. It was Fagan in the first round. He just picks Chrysopolides off of those front kicks you still see now. Off the rear leg and the front leg. Chrysopolides tried to line up the big leg kicks and the big goodnight Irene right hand to the jaw. If he's going to put Phil Fagan away, Hammer, one thinks he must go after the jaw like Mark Hunt did in the final of the K1 finals in February. Well, there's a big, you know, the fighters in the K1 believe there's a big question mark on the chin of Phil Fagan. They believe he can't take a hit. Fagan just evading out of the way of those wild punches of Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides forces him back against the ropes. But I tell you what, sparring with the likes of uh, Clay Amatagi, he's been hit with some big bombs in sparring. And uh, he will be prepared for some of those ones. And Hammer, I tell you what, hasn't Chris Chrysopolides really matured as a fighter since joining forces with Johnny Sheeter? Well, he certainly has. He's, uh, he's certainly uh, knuckled down a little and uh, putting in the hard yards there with Johnny. Fagan just trying to tag him there with the left hand. Chrysopolides goes downstairs. A better round this one so far from Chris Chrysopolides. This is where Fagan should be tying up and working knees rather than getting into a slugfest with Chrysopolides. Both men sucking in the air here in the second round of action. A nice left hand there from Chris Chrysopolides. Fagan looked to stick out the leg kick. Chrysopolides just stemmed the blood flowing from that nostril and the cut on the bridge of the nose. Just misses with the left kick. That's Chrysopolides. Fagan standing toe to toe with him. A gob of blood just flying out of the mouth there of Chris Chrysopolides. Fagan shoots out the front kick off the lead leg. Big left hand there from Chris Chrysopolides. Oh, Fagan tags with the left hand. And blood just flew out of his mouth. Good leg kick again there from Chris Opoletis, then buries into Phil Fagan. This one has become a slugfest. One of these men will qualify for the K1 Oceania 2001 final tournament next year. Fagan just tags him with the left hand, comes through with the right hand. Both men sap for energy here in the second round. This is the knockout style of tournament that the K1 is renowned for the world over. Well, you've got to remember that Fagan did a hard three rounds in his first, uh, his first eliminator with uh, Paul Robinson. Uh, Chris Opolini's like was an absolute slugfest with Gurkhan Oskar, so these guys are going to be spent, that's oh, for sure. Oh, need that bread basket from Phil Fagan, he hurt Chris Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides maybe just taunting him, just playing some mind games with Phil Fagan. Chrysopolides now unloading the heavy artillery upstairs. This Another knee to the abdomen to the bread basket from Fagan. Fagan wants to start working his knees more on the inside, like should uh, Chrysopolides. Will Chrysopolides beat Phil Fagan? Last time out, he couldn't do the trick. Will Phil Fagan become the nemesis of Chris Chrysopolides' heavyweight career? There's the knee from me. A knee Set strike from Phil Fagan. Inside leg kick from Chrysopolides. Forces Fagan back into his own red corner. Into the final moments. There we go. The second round of action. Hammer, we've got one more to go. Well, it's Paul Fagan to date. Chrysopolides putting up a brave show, but uh, nevertheless, Fagan has got the fitness and his techniques are just coming out so much quicker. In the first round, he was using those front kicks, pumping them in. Now he's come back and he's starting to utilize his knees a little, Fagan. Once again, there's that snappy left hook from Fagan. Stepped in, bang, and then he put it through the guard there of Chrysopolides. Hands are tied up. Knee strike underneath that grapple that uh, Chrysopolides was hanging on to Fagan's left hand. Fagan ripped in the knee. Clever tactics from him. Once again, Fagan trying to set for the knee strike again, rather than getting into that slugfest where it's, uh, you know, a flip of the coin as to who's going to come out the better, especially when two fighters are standing there toe-to-toe. -to -toe, tie up, whip the knees in. That would be the sound advice. Victoria final. Both men will touch gloves. The large crowd rallying behind their respective fighters and we are ready to rumble. Well, what a fantastic atmosphere here at Festival Hall, the House of Stoush. Fagan with the inside leg kick. Johnny Shooter saying to Chris Chrysopolis between rounds, do you want to be here, Chris? If you want to be here, go in there, son, and give it all you got. Fagan needs to be holding his hands a bit higher, looking through the guard, a la Zambitis. I'll use him as uh, my example now for all <laughs> technique, I think. Well, has. Zambidis, the benchmark for all comparisons tonight. We have been most impressed with him. And most impressed with the K1 here tonight. It has been excitement personified. Swinging left hook there from Chris Opolides. Just missed the mark. Fagan connects with the straight right hand. Just misses it with the left. Inside leaky from Fagan as Chris Opolides goes head hunting. He walks straight into a Fagan right hook. 
Inside leg kicks from Fagan have taken their toll on Chris Chrysopolides and scored well for the entire fight. Chrysopolides just dancing out of the way. Goes a 1-2 to the draw and doesn't connect. Fagan moves forward with a straight left hand. Overhand right from Fagan didn't find the mark. And stay with us, folks, because coming up next we've got the man. The one and only Stan Longanides against Peter Gray. You can hear the chance now erupting for Chris Chrysopolides. The whole of the Western Suburbs might be here at Festival Hall tonight, Hammer. Chrysopolides just tags him with the left hand, tags him with the right hand. Here comes Chris Chrysopolides. And the knee strikes coming in from Fagan. Even the Hammer's getting excited, folks. Even the, the Hammer's lifting his voice. I'll tell you what, Michael, I'll never get as excited as you. <laughs> I'm not, not commentating anyway, but uh, Chrysopolides, it's just, he's got so much heart, this big boy. Oh, I need the hit from Fagan. Fagan almost caught him on the bridge of the nose, that bleeding bridge of the nose of Chris Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides sucking in the air now. Two very tired athletes in centre ring, giving it their all for the crowd and for themselves, obviously. Nice left hand, smack bang on the kisser there from Fagan. Chrysopolides turns him around and drills a left hook. Chrysopolides just needs one good hit, smack bang on the button. Will he get it before time's out? We're into the final minute of action. Chrysopolides trying for some knees of his own. He landed a nice one earlier. Phil Fagan looking to his corner. Kelly Seep and Clay Omatagi shouting all sorts of instructions. There's a knee straight. Knee to the head, the head from Phil Fagan. Phil Fagan Big uppercut there from Chris Chrysopolides. Chrysopolides stalks forward with the left hand. Can Chrysopolides finish him off here in the third and final round? Or will Phil Fagan go on to take the decision and move through to the finals next February? Here comes Chrysopolides. Here comes the heavy artillery. Fagan here comes the barrage working. of head punches. If he lets Chrysopolides have even a sniff of, a, of an opening, Chrysopolides will be all over him. They need to keep working. Fagan oh. needs to keep working. The big knee again from Phil Fagan just missed the target. Johnny Feeder, Cheetah looking agitated in the corner of Chris Chrysopolides. They're here in the third and final round. Come on! I'm going to put you on the spot again, champ. How do you see it? Well, I tell you what, an absolute war, absolute battle. In the end, it came down to fitness, I believe. Fagan probably just uh, with that higher work rate landed some great knee strikes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the final of the K1 Victoria section, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. Judge Graham Waddell scores the bout 30-28. Judge Norman Liu scores the bout 30-27. Judge Terry Clay scores the bout 29-27. Your winner out of the red corner, Phil Fagan! Well, there you have it. The hot favourite, Phil Fagan, makes it to the final of the K1 Oceania 2001.